Good morning. It's a daily quiz, episode 27, Incident Investigation. We're getting a lot of questions on this on the last CSP set of uh, questions in October. So I decided to put some of the questions that we're seeing about the concepts. Remember, we don't use the actual questions. We, we write them and focus on the concepts. So November 2nd, this is in a lot of... Every, every test with the CIT. Just let's say it that way. CSP, ASP, CHSD, SMP, STS, STSC, and OSHD. Okay, root cause identification. After workers suffered a hand injury while clearing a jam, the investigation team turned to five Y techniques to trace the cause back to a proper lockout procedure. Which investigative process best describes this method? Ventrial analysis, change analysis, root cause analysis, and fault tree analysis. Answer is the five Ys. We'll get to the answer. It's a root cause analysis. Why did the worker's hand get caught in the conveyor? Because the conveyor unexpectedly started moving when the worker was reaching the machine. Why did the conveyor start unexpectedly? Because the energy was not fully isolated before the worker attempted to clear the jam. Why wasn't the energy isolated? Because the worker did not apply lockout before reaching in. Why did the worker fail to apply lockout? Because there's no clear procedure or training. And why were there no written procedures? Because management had not developed a comprehensive energy control program under 29 CFR 1910 147 and lockout compliance audits were never conducted so the root cause the absence of a fully enforced lockout program including procedures training and audits are the cause and I put this in there because a lot of times people actually you know you kind of can do this in your head but this is kind of like the thought process during a lockout inspection for OSHA and it's a kind of a nice thing to have Okay, so it was the root cause analysis. I would take out the word root cause identification. Okay, this one's a little tougher. Following chemical spill, the safety manager assembles a multidisciplinary team to analyze deviations in valve operation, human errors, procedure gap. The team uses a structured worksheet to identify causes, correctives for people, procedures, equipment, environment, management systems. Which investigative technique is being applied? Barrier analysis, B, cause and effect, uh, fishbone, Ishikawa analysis, C, event and causal Factor charting, D, energy, trace, and barrier analysis. you got to know what all these are on these tests. All these questions that we're going over, you have to know what these these kind of methods are because they want you to know the techniques. You may not use but three of these in your lifetime, but you have to at least know what they are. And it's called fishbone. What is it like? We have a chemical spill. Now, you can make many ribs. You can have six ribs, eight ribs. You can do you know whatever you want. People, uh, there could be a human error that they made a mistake, fatigue, miscommunication, as our methods, training, lax procedures, age equipment. You do this during brainstorming. Everybody just kind of talks about it. You don't discuss it, otherwise you'll never get it done. If you start talking about every single topic, so you just list them out and you go in there and you grit it out and you go through this and we go, you know, in there. And I always start with, what do we have programs in there? What's our procedures? Okay, there's pr procedures, program, training. Then we're going to talk about audits. And, you know, that's a part of your methods. Do we have an audit system? So I always look at, you know, program, training, and audits right off the bat. Those are the three things that are always going to be in any analysis I have. And this is what I would add in this one if I was to make it better. After a steam line rupture, investigate, investigator diagrams a sequence of events, always important, identifying how control valve failures, poor maintenance, lack of alarm responses combine to cause the event. The, where, the analysis works backwards from the incident through the system. Which method is most likely being used? Change analysis, human factors review, failure mode, infect analysis, fault tree analysis. This is a tough question. This is as tough as it gets because, you you know, these are, you know, you're not getting the root cause. You're not getting the things we use a lot. It's going to be fault tree analysis. So we take the event and we work backwards and we say, okay, um, what was the issue of the valve failure? Well, it was leaking through the seals. Well, you know, kind of, kind of like the five Ys, but you're just working and diagramming it out. And you know, why was the seal leaking? Well, because we don't do a in preventative maintenance program. The fluid is on it. The seal was old. All these things, you know, you can go over and say this, this, and this had to happen to cause the event. And uh, you work backwards. You can also use this knowledge and apply it to other things for the future events. All right, that's it today. I know it's a little longer, but let's uh, have a good day and be safe out there.